Hey, hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. I represent Storm Spirit players around the world, and inside the channel, you'll find guides on Storm, other heroes, middle lane mechanics, streams, and coaching sessions. Your support keeps the content flowing, and if you'd like to contribute, find out how down below. With all that said, let's go. In the last video, we've discussed what can make a possible Orchid Rush go horribly wrong. Today, we'll get a look at the other side of the spectrum and discuss how to pull off an Orchid Rush the correct way. For the remainder of the video, we'll call this particular playstyle the Pickoff Storm. To make sure Pickoff Storm is the correct choice to play, we first must meet a few prerequisites. The more boxes we can tick, the more successful the Pickoff Storm becomes. So, with that in mind, there are three things to consider in the match. First, enemy lineup consists of slippery heroes that absolutely hate to be silenced, such as Ember and Juggernaut. Second, enemy lineup for one reason or another will not reach full potential until later in the game. A good example would be the enemy having anti-mage carry, who will only be effective after 20 minutes or so, compared to Anursa, who will gladly rotate for kills as early as level 6. And third and last thing to consider, who are you laning against and how likely the laning phase is to impact the enemy team's effectiveness. If Storm has managed to shut down a Monkey King, he will likely spend the next 10 minutes catching up in the jungle. However, if the same Monkey King came out of the lane strong, he will instead rally the team in taking down towers. So as long as Storm ended the laning phase with an average or greater farm, and the enemy mid isn't rotating around the map generating space, consider this an ideal match for the pickoff Storm. This particular match we are in though, isn't as ideal as I would like it to be. Yes, my laning went fine, yes the enemy has anti-mage who won't be ready to fight yet, but our other two lanes have went horribly, and now the enemy can simply push down with just 4 well-farmed heroes very effectively. Regardless, with the correct plays, we've managed to turn the game around, which further illustrates my point. A good Orchid match can turn out bad, and a bad Orchid match can turn out good. And now, let's focus on how the Pickoff Storm operates. The main difference between the Pickoff Storm over traditional Storm is the space. The traditional Storm will want to optimize his own farm most of the time, spending his early game rotating lane to jungle until the first few items and showing up in side lanes from time to time. The Pickoff Storm, however, is all about early game dominance. From the moment you complete Orchid, the goal is to pick up greater and greater momentum with each minute and continue snowballing until the throne falls. In other words, Pickoff Storm is all about taking space away from the enemy and in turn broadening the available resources for his own team either to catch up or join the siege. With that in mind, we can outline a few rules what to do when you first complete the Orchid, ideally between 12 and 15 minutes. At this time, you should have no problem killing absolutely everyone on the map unless they are grouped up or well protected by defensive items or spells. And these decide how you should select your targets. Ideally, we should always be targeting cores in our pickoffs. Laning or jungling cores are always easier than pushing ones since you can hit a target under a tower before someone teleports to help, but you will have more trouble isolating a target in a roaming group of 3 or more. With the correct targeting, you can cripple any ongoing sieges or delay new ones, making the enemies play 4 vs 5 for most of the early game. As for the engagements themselves, aim to spend the least amount of mana possible. Big Up Storm suffers from mana problems most of all, since we are trading all the efficiency in regeneration into a massive damage boost. This means walking over zipping and right clicking over using spells whenever possible. Predict enemy teleports, predict their jungle rotations, and just be where the enemy wants to be. Dyer's couriers be radiance middle tower. Radiance middle tower. Claims me. 
Since Pickup Storm thrives on kills, and spending time on anything other than kills gives opponents time to recover, you should minimize the downtime between pickoffs as much as possible. After a successful kill, either teleport to the nearest source of regeneration, or use the pocketed mana regen while traveling to the next objective. In this case, it is absolutely okay to constantly hog the courier for clarities and mangoes. And if we can successfully keep the snowballing going, we'll naturally accumulate a lot of gold in the process. The great thing about Pickup Storm is that this playstyle is very flexible with items. Unlike traditional Storm, who wants decent mana regeneration, some form of harmful spell removal or immunity, the Pickup Storm simply grows too fast for enemies to deliver any significant harm. Traditional Storm wants to itemize to withstand potential initiations on him and to help stand the ground during teamfights. Pickup Storm doesn't care about any of that. The target can't initiate or fight back when he is facing imminent death. So, unless there are any potential day reading spells, such as Primal Roar or Mana Void, which require an error Lincolns, just build whatever helps to pick off targets more effectively. Either more damage through Bloodthorn, or an extra disable through Hex, or heroes nearing the Manta timing. And hell, even if for one reason or another your momentum has stopped, you can always revert back to the traditional Storm with a Bloodstone and BKB, or any other item as required. And there we go, everything there is to know about maximizing the effectiveness of a pickup storm. While I'll admit this build will not be ideal every match, whenever it does work, it works damn good. And for me at least, it is far more fun and rewarding than the traditional storm. Instead of farming simulator, it's all about action. And also, the lower MMR you are, the more likely is pickup storm to win new matches, as it thrives upon disorganized teams. So go ahead. Add the pickup storm into your hero and build rotation, and have fun deleting heroes in style. I will leave you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Invisibility. Radiance bottom tower be under attack. Block under attack. Radiance bottom tower be under attack. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Blew you off course, did I? Is mine. Bottom tower be under attack. Dyer's middle tower be taken fire. Zip! Whoa, what I miss? Holy shit! Blow the man down! Dyer's middle tower. Taken fire. Dyer's middle tower has fallen.
Radiant's bottom tower and be under attack. Radiance bottom tower be under attack. Rock under attack. I've been over here now. Here I am. Holy shit! Lord, I'm a Not a fan, anti mage. What the what? Over here now. Ha ha. Spirit sinks. Ancient be under attack. Zap. Dyer's ancient be under attack. Yeah. 